guys. Well, before we get started with this week's Come Follow Me video, I just want to let you know that I won't be doing a video next week because of the holiday, but you can look for another video the first week of December. So I'm going to combine a little bit of this week's Come Follow Me lesson with next week's. Last week, we talked about the Jaredites and their journey to the Promised Land. So let's finish talking about the Jaredite people and what happened to them. So the Jaredites came across the ocean on a boat and landed here in America, where they grew and they grew and they grew into a group of two million people. They had a big city and they grew and they grew for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. But one day they started to turn wicked and they became so wicked that they all killed each other. They destroyed just about all of their people. We read that some of the Jaredites escaped and they scattered off into other places. And eventually, all who was left was their king. Well, another group of people called the Mulekites, who escaped from Jerusalem right as Lehi and his family were landing here in America, they had also got on a boat and crossed the ocean and came to America to start over. And one day, they found this king. They said that he could come live with them. And he lived with them for nine months until he died. Not too long after that, the Nephites came and found this great big city. And they found the Mulekites. And the Mulekites told them that there used to be a people living here called the Jaredites, but they destroyed themselves. And they said, we have their records if you want to see them. And the Nephites said, yes, we would love to see their records and learn about their history. And the Mulekites said, well, the records are written in a language that we don't understand. And the Nephites said, that's not a problem. We have a king. King Mosiah, who has the gift of translation. He can translate these records for us. So the Nephites took these records of the Jaredite people and translated them and learned the great story that we're gonna talk about today. As Moroni was finishing up the records in the Book of Mormon, he took the history of the Jaredite people and retold their story in a much, much shorter version, which is now the Book of Ether. When the Jaredites traveled across the ocean, it must have been scary being tossed all over the sea in those little tiny boats. But the Lord kept them safe. He watched over them and protected them. Can you think of a time in your life when you were scared and maybe think about how the Lord comforted or protected you? I can think of a time when I was little. I was about five years old, maybe even six. And I remember I was playing at my friend's house down the street. We were in her backyard jumping on the trampoline. We lived in a neighborhood that was up on a hill at the foot of a mountain. And I remember as we were jumping on the trampoline, suddenly some storm clouds started rolling in. And we just kept jumping because we were having so much fun. When suddenly out of nowhere, a bolt of lightning came down and struck the metal rim of the trampoline when we were in mid air. It was so bright and so loud, I thought that my heart stopped for a moment. I jumped off the trampoline and I didn't even say goodbye to my friend. I took off running down the road, screaming and crying. I was so scared. And I remember when I got home, there was nobody there. My family had left and I didn't know where they were. And the dark clouds outside continued to roll in. My house seemed pretty dark on the inside. Well, I remember I ran straight into the living room 
underneath a table that had a tablecloth on it and I hid there. And as I waited and waited and waited, being in that quiet house all by myself started to add to my fear. So I remember I went outside and sat on the grass and waited for my family to come home. But during that time, as I waited, I started to not feel so alone. And I started to not be so afraid. And eventually I was blessed with the welcoming embrace of my family when they came home and pulled up in the driveway. My parents came out and comforted me. I told them what had happened and I now felt so safe. And I realized that Heavenly Father blessed me with parents and blessed me with a family that could help keep me safe. I was so grateful. Now when the Jaredites reached the promised land, they were so grateful that the Lord had blessed them and kept them safe, and they showed their thanks to Him. This week is a special week because it's a week that here in America, we celebrate Thanksgiving. It's a time when we give thanks to God for all of our blessings. And I have a bunch of decorations laying around the house that we put out every November. This is just one of them. This one I made. I also have this one that reminds us to be grateful. And I like to keep this one up all year long. Then we have our Give Thanks box. This is a box that can help us remember what we're grateful for. Everyone in the family writes down something that they're thankful for and they slip it inside the box. Then during our Thanksgiving dinner, we open up the box and read the pieces of paper to learn what it is that everyone is grateful for. What are some of the things that you're thankful for? I'm thankful for lots of things. I'm thankful for fall and all of the beautiful colors. I'm thankful for rain and how it helps the earth turn green. I'm thankful for warm blankets on cold nights. I'm thankful for yummy things to eat and delicious smelling candles. And I'm thankful for days and nights when I get to spend time having fun with my kids. We do lots of fun things. Well, I thought today we could sing primary songs that are all about being thankful. But you know, there's quite a few and some of them we've never sang before. So I thought we could do a little activity to help us decide what songs to sing. So I have hid a bunch of leaves all over the yard and Camry and Tatum are gonna go on a little leaf hunt. Whichever leaves they find first on the back, there's a little number and that will determine which songs we sing. Are you guys ready to go hunting? Mm -hmm. I'll go first. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Let's go find some leaves. Father hears me pray. Keep me safe in thy sight. Help me choose and do what's right. Thanks for home and family too. Many things to love and do. Thou art very good to me. Heavenly Father, thanks to thee. Okay, I thought while we sing this song, we can all take a leaf and we're gonna pretend our leaves are blowing in the wind. We're just gonna sway back and forth while we sing about the things that we're thankful for. Are you guys ready to sing? Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. 
it's number no is it number is that four? Oh yeah, it's four, it's four. <laughs> now here's another short little song. This one's called Father, We Thank Thee for the Night. Look at Camry's shirt. She's wearing a shirt that looks like night. It's black with shiny stars all over it. So I think we can look at your shirt while we sing this song. Here's the words. Father, we thank thee for the night and for the pleasant morning light, for rest and food and loving care and all that makes the day so fair. Okay, are you guys ready to sing it? Yeah. Here we go.
So this next song is a thankful song about family. It's called Thanks to Our Father. Here's the words. Thanks to our Father we will bring, for He gives us everything. Eyes and ears and hands and feet, clothes to wear and food to eat. Mother, Father, baby small, Heavenly Father gives us all. Thanks to our Father we will bring, for he gives us everything. All right, our last song, are you ready to sing it? Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. on our computers and on our phones to show all of our friends and family what it is we're thankful for. And he said that doing this would help the whole world in a time when things are a little bit scary, a little bit not so fun. What an inspired prophet we have. The Jaredites also had prophets during their time when they lived here on this land, and when they listened to their prophets, they were blessed. I know that as we listen to a prophet, President Nelson, and we take the time to really think about all the things that we're grateful for, all the things that God has blessed us with, we will feel so much happier and will continue to be blessed. I know this is true, and I say it in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you so much for singing with me today, you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time.